Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and for today's video, I'm gonna show you things you need to know before you access great space in Tower of Fantasy. The level cap is now 74, meaning we can now access the great space. If you can't see the great space feature on your map, make sure you achieve 40% of the very exploration, then those green portals should appear on your map. Basically, Gray Space is an instance of the Vera Plane, so you will have the same exact map with different enemies. And yes, you cannot do multiplayer in the Gray Space. Now, this Gray Space fissure will appear on your map. There will be a total of 6 per day. You can only use the portal once and it will disappear after usage. So make sure to complete this all 6 every day as part of your dailies. Now, there's another way to enter the Gray Space using these Gray Space scriptures. Now you can think it as a portable gray space fissure. You can use it anywhere in the map and you will be transported in the gray space domain. Unlike the gray space fissure that it will depends on where it appears on your map. And of course there will be a separate exploration progress for gray space for each regions in Vera Plain. There are only two things we can do in gray space, special rift closure and crystal dust collection. For special rift, you have to defeat mobs, monsters, elite monsters, even bosses, and then you'll be able to close the portals and then receive the rewards. Now let's enter using the gray space fissure. And we'll be transported in the same position in the map, but a different dimension. Okay, one thing that you need to know is there's a time limit in gray space. You can only stay for 8 minutes and you'll be kicked out if you died or you transmit or you use the uh, space rift. This means that you need to plan before you enter the gray space. That's why interactive maps are really useful in this kind of scenario. I have two interactive maps here that I use that you could just toggle the space or the spatial rift or the crystal dust in the map. And uh, this is the other interactive map. Although I prefer the other one because this one doesn't have the regions in Vera. So I can choose a specific region to show. I mean using this one, I could choose which specific region in Vera I could uh, prioritize first. Depends on where the fissure will be uh, appearing. If it's closer to the um, this region, then I'll just uh, put this up so that I could plan ahead which or what will I do when I enter the gray space area. Now this is an example of the uh, floating crystal dust. Just interact with them, part of the collecting. And I'm just gonna quickly show you one of the bosses here in the gray space. This is the puppet singer. This is the same enemy in the joint operations, the new one. So this is actually a very strong boss. Of course, I can't defeat this right now. So um, I'm just gonna show you this boss and look how many monsters or enemies are in this uh, location. All right, now I found a uh, spatial rift and some few enemies here that I could kill. Just to show you what to expect after killing this. Also, some of the monsters have a debuff and some have um, other skills so it's really interesting and will really consume your time as you can see i've already consumed half of my time here in uh, race space so next time it will be either i'll just collect the crystal dust and not attack any of this spatial rift or i will just do the spatial rift and attack those um, monsters Time is precious here, so we have to use our time effectively. And when the time is up, it will look like this. There will be honeycomb patterns on your screen and it will crack. Then it will eventually return to the original Vera plane. And that's pretty much it. If we check the map, you could see that uh, the one we used earlier, the gray space fissure, is already removed and we are left with five remaining gray space fissures and then again don't waste your scriptures yet <laughs> don't use it yet uh, save it for the future especially for the elite and the boss monsters for the spatial rift and that's it 
let me know what you think of the gray space and what will be your strategy in entering the area. And that's it for this video. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching. Good luck. See you again next time. Bye.